Right, well, this is a bit special, this one. This is a project we've um, built over lockdown, and it's a it's based on a factory V8. Um, it's been re uh, with a Richard chassis. It's been painted in a uh, colour very similar to Audi uh, Nardo Grey. Um, it's a V8, and we've sort of made it look a bit more vintage than, than, it, than it would have done uh, as a 1985 um, station wagon. Um, so we've put some very nice wolf wheels on it um, with the big BF Goodrich mud terrain tyres. We put the heritage mud flaps on it and this wonderful mohair hood that you can see uh, which just makes the driving experience so much fun. A lot of work's gone into this one. There's a lot of hidden detail. The suspension is all genuine Land Rover suspension um, and it's stuff taken from the, you know, from the factory. It's a 2016 Defender spec, so it's very, very comfortable. Um, we haven't put a silly loud exhaust on it. We have put a stainless exhaust on it, but it's all about not being too flashy, but just standing out a little bit from the crowd. Let's um, go in and have a look at a few of those details that we've discussed. So at the front we put Series 3 headlight surrounds and they're colour-coded um, to the Nardo grey as well. And we've kept the sort of classic um, indicators and also we haven't made them white. I think it's nice to have the sort of vintage orange indicators. A heritage grill with um, a genuine Land Rover heritage plaque. Actually that one came off or was fitted to some of the um, heritage additions that came from the factory. New bumper, um, it's had a lot of work underneath this one as well so all suspension, steering box etc has all been done. Um, transfer box, gearboxes uh, and front axle has been fully rebuilt. You can see there new seals etc. Um, the thing about these wolf wheels when you put a normal studs on the studs are too short then you put the long studs on and they stick out too far and they they look a bit rank so we've uh, had these wonderful wheel nuts closed cap wheel nuts machined um, to sort of really finish finish the look um, it's got two-piece doors with sliding windows and the sort of anti-burst locks uh, and handles um, there's the fuel filler there you can see all the nice bits here where the um, the poppers go for the roof, etc. Another um, plaque on the back there, the stating the engine, etc. Um, and they, these heritage mud flaps, I think, absolutely finish the vehicle. They look so good. They're not cheap, but they're just lovely. Um, Mantec swing away wheel carrier here, which opens with the door, so see that all opened and then locks into place there. Um, this is a, a, a sort of fake teak flooring that you use on the uh, decks of boats etc. We were going to use, I, I love the stuff that, that the guys at Outlander Vehicles do, but we didn't want to lose too much floor height and also wanted it to be very easily removable uh, and, and this was a, a little bit cheaper as well. So. Um, it's, it's sort of the, the best, next best option, I think. Uh, again, uh, coloured brake and uh, indicator uh, lights, I think it's just really important. Brand new reflectors, uh, NAS rear step with a tow bar. And there's the, um, the stainless exhaust you can see there. And we put new stainless bracketry to hold these wings solid, etc. Look inside. So, there's Focal speakers up front with a big amp in behind the seats here. Um, and there are also big Focal speakers in the back there uh, and an Alpine head unit with Bluetooth, etc. Um, just have a quick look up here. You can see how nice it all is up here. So leather headrests. Um, a safety device is chassis mounted roll cage. Um, I think these are really the only way to go when you've got one of these defenders. Um, so it's properly, it goes down into the chassis and mounts onto the mounting plates there. It's good for mounting seat belts. Uh, and it's also, if, yeah, if the worst should happen, 
you're you're in you're in safe hands. Um, it's a cracking thing. Let's just uh, fire it up, and you can just hear the power of the V8. Give a bit of gas, but yeah, here we go. It's a lovely, subtle note, but I'm sure you'll agree the whole package is just absolutely stunning. Thank you very much. Bye.